The 5545 is currently a big lie in Genshin Impact, and this is something that does not sit with reality. So here on Paimon.mo, we can see that 51.63 of people that summoned from Wolani won the 5050. Now, if the capturing radiance was giving you a 5545 like everyone would believe then why is this number so low why are more people winning on emily and on navia's banners than on mulani's that's what we'll talk about today now today's topic is quite difficult i can just tldr it and tell you exactly how things work but i want you to just take a bit of a step back to understand where the confusion comes in. So let's take this step by step and then I'll go through a bit later in the video on the technical details of how the capturing radiance actually works. So first of all, a lot of people seem to think that if you lose the 50-50, then there is somehow this magical second chance and you get a 10% and if you do win it again, then hey, you get your five star. And this is where the misconception comes in, because if you take the 10% year off on the 50 and you multiply it, well, hey, that's 5%. So you can then add it to the 55% one. And obviously the 90 year off the 50 is 45%, hence the 55-45. And even if you look in game, Hoyo says the consolidated probability is 55 45 but that is not how it works so how the wishing system truly works is going to be outlined right here but before i do it i'm not the first person to have noticed that something is wrong something doesn't quite add up and you can see on reddit all linked down below in the description a couple of people have also made the observations even here on youtube you can see that crying whoa whoa said hey something is not right so how does it actually work well basically the first time you lose the 50 50 a notice is made of it on your account and the next time you're confronted with a situation of either the limited banner or the 50 50 that probability is going to be 50 50 but if you lose the 50 50 again what no Hoyo does is they'll take notice of it and then they'll adjust it to be a 75-25. So this is very, very important. You first have to lose the 50-50, then nothing changes. Once you lose it again, then the next time you're confronted with either the banner character or the alternatives, then that is going to be a 75-25. And then finally, if you lose the 75-25 after already having lost the first two 50-50s, then the capturing radiance is going to become 100%. So basically, if you would have lost, well, it's now just 100-0. That is actually what happens. And if you start doing the mathematics behind this, and I'll take you through how the simulations work, you get to the correct result of 55% on average when it comes to being given the choice the new 50 50 is indeed the 55 45 but that's not what happens when you are confronted by it when in other words when you win a five star it changes depending on whether you've lost previous 50 50s and that is the key to what is happening so here you can see we're in python and you don't need to understand python to know where we're going to go but i just want to prove to you guys that hey this has been maxed out properly and i want to talk through it because there are a couple of little small things that you might not have noticed and this is also a good time for me to plug in the fact that i've got a video here on youtube which explains on very very simple terms how the gacha system works in Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail as well as some things where we use simulations to talk about whether there's really such a thing as a lucky or an unlucky account in Genshin and taking that research and putting and adjusting some of it here you can see that we've got updated code that now works for the radiance or the um, capturing radiance probabilities and hence if you can trust my previous work which pretty much con is confirmed by empirical data hopefully you can trust what I'm about to say and just a little bit of a small caveat getting to 55 45 via these rules 
is not the only way to get it. So we don't have full, full confirmation. But given the fact that people have made some real world observations and really have started seeing when the capturing radiance takes effect, we've seen a lot of people, especially a lot of whale players, coming to the conclusion that some sort of mechanism like this happens. And once we put it into simulations, we can actually prove that it is pretty damn close. In fact, what happens is Hoyo rounds down the probabilities. So in other words, they're actually slightly better than what they present to you in game, which is legally okay, as long as they're not worse than what is represented. So from my perspective, let's quickly go through this in detail. So basically, if you look here in Python, and I try to code this in a way which anyone can understand, what typically happens is you make a couple of wishes. If you get your five star, one of two things happens. If you win the 50-50, well, hey, congratulations. If you fail the 50-50 and you're not on a guarantee, well, then the next time it's going to be guaranteed and you know guys know that's kind of how Genshin Impact works so with the capturing radiance this very simple logic of did I get the five star did I win the 50 50 is suddenly a bit more complicated so what we have to do in this case is we have to start counting every time you basically won the 50 50 so you can see here there's no 50 50 every time you lost the 50 50 every time you lost the 75 25 and then finally every time you lost the um, 100 zero which is never because you've always win it so we have to tally up what is happening over in this case i think it's about 10 million simulations and as you can see here as i've put in a comment obviously if you add up all of these counters they must add up to the number of simulations in this case or the number of wishes which is about 10 million and i can promise you the math works out uh, as you can see here if you look at my little debugger there at the bottom the sum is indeed uh, 10 million so what happens effectively with capturing radiance is exactly like I said earlier. We first wish and once the event triggers and we get our five star, something's going to happen. So first of all, we need to test whether we're going to win the 50-50 or not. So this is where we go down to this normal 50-50. If we win the 50-50, well, congratulations, we can then skip all of these little blocks you can see right here. We go all the way to the end. We've got our um, five star. There is no guarantee. Everything is as we've always expected. But now what happens when we don't win the 50-50? Well, this is where we get into condition one. And assuming we obviously don't have a guarantee, what we then do is we put on the guarantee because we just lost the 50-50. So next time, obviously, the guarantee is going to trigger. And we just basically record the fact that, hey, we've lost the first 50-50 and we add one to our tally counter. What then happens is the next time we go through this little wishing system, we obviously get another five star. And then the logic goes and says, OK, you failed the first time. And provided you don't have a guarantee, what we're now going to do is again go through a 50-50. If you once again win, hey, no problem. All that's going to happen is, is we're going to clear all the records and it's just going to carry on as normal. But if you lose again the 50-50, then then obviously condition two activates we need to up one on the counter and basically condition two is exactly like condition one you've lost the second 50 50 in a row which i must kind of point out here that's the key part to all of this we put on the guarantee we record it and so the process is going to go on obviously if we'd won the 50 50 year then we would reset everything because then it's not you didn't lose it one after the other that's kind of a key point in any case so once you've lost the second 50 50 in a row what happens is we go back here we fail the fifth, second 50 50 we're not on a guarantee so now the game gives us a 75 25 obviously if we win this hey we can just then uh, reset everything once again it's all going to be all good but if we lose the 75 25 we have to add one to the counter and once again we go into this little condition we've lost the third 75 over, yeah it's like the third 50 50 but now the on the third try we've lost the 75 25 given that we've lost the previous things we make the guarantee come true we record it 
and so the loop continues right up until we get here to the final stage of saying yeah we lost everything so just give me the damn character and we just tally it up and that's basically how this works guys not that difficult just a bit of a mental arithmetic to keep count for those of you who are interested we are jitting the process because i mean i want to run my simulations in less than two seconds and once we do so we can count all the 50 50 75s hundreds no 50 50s and you then effectively if you want to work out a consolidated probability you just add them all up, you divide by the total, which in this case is 10 million, and that gives you then obviously the probability of going into this whole 50-50 nonsense, and then one minus that's the probability that you don't go into it. So effectively, overall, it's going to be a 55-45. The key takeaway is, is that over many wishes, if you're a whale player or if you're an F2P that has saved up for months, yes, then the capturing radiance is going to take effect. But if you've just started out as an F2P and you only wished once on the Moolani banner, it's going to be the exact same as usual. Nothing is going to change in your life. It's just that statistically the the rates the 50 50 acts statistically over many wishes like a 55 45 but it's not always a 45 a 55 45 it depends on whether you've lost the previous 55 50 50s and it only applies from genshin impact 5 point version 5.0 onwards so that is something you have to be careful of so it's not the 55 45 it's the 50 50 and it depends on what you've previously what previously happened in which case it can become a 75 25 or basically 100 zero which is again a full guarantee guys that's been it from my side the code and stuff will be down below that's what i've got to say about this thank you for watching